Go. These 13 things about arachnophobia shouldn't leave you too squeamish, but don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> Number 13. The small spiders used in the film were Avondale spiders, a harmless species from New Zealand that were provided by land care research in Auckland. They were not allowed back in New Zealand for quarantine reasons. The giant spider used in the film was a species of bird-eating tarantula, which attains an 8-inch leg span or more. Those types of tarantula are not easy to handle and can give a nasty bite. Number 12. The spiders in the film were managed and handled by famed entomologist Stephen R. Kutcher. Number 11. The animatronic general spider seen at the film's climax was one of the earliest prop jobs done by Jamie Heineman, star and co-producer of Mythbusters. Number 10. The sound of a spider being crushed by John Goodman was made by the Foley artists crushing a couple of potato chips. Number 9. The safety of the spiders was paramount throughout the entire production. So for one scene where McClintock had to spray an arachnid with insecticide, then squash it with his boot, the production went to extreme measures. First, a dummy spider was sprayed. Then Goodman donned special boots with a hollowed-out sole for the squash shot, so that the spider would just curl up inside and wait for the next take. Number 8. The first film released under Disney's Hollywood Pictures label, which was also created so the studio could release more adult-oriented fare. Number 7. When dead spiders were needed, the filmmakers used bodies of arachnids that had died of natural causes. Number 6. During an interview with GQ, John Goodman let slip that while filming a long shot of his character driving the exterminator truck, producer Steven Spielberg sat in the passenger side footwell out of view of the camera and quipped to Goodman, only we will know that I was here. Number 5. Roy Brocksmith, who plays the morgue attendant, also acted in the cult movie Killer Fish, which also centers on a deadly natural creature that derives from a jungle setting. In that case, it was a piranha. Number four. Frank Marshall saved the shooting of arachnophobia's climactic fight between Jennings and the general until the very end of production, after all the other actors had been sent home. The scene, which involved fire, explosions, and many smashed bottles of fine wine, took two weeks of 13-hour days to shoot. Daniel spent two of those days pinned under a 250-pound wine rack, hurling bottles of wine at Big Bob while under strict instructions to not hit the spider, and in fact, always misses it by three feet or more. Number three. Sheriff Parsons leaves the Jennings barn to drive back to the mortuary and is not seen again. Stuart Pankin stated in an interview that his character was killed by a spider while driving and crashed his cruiser. The scene was filmed but didn't make it into the final cut. Number two. When the three girls are driving away after being warned about the spiders, one of them says, Yo, Dr. Death! Yet none of their mouths move. Number one. Advertisers were uncertain as to whether they should market the film as a thriller or a comedy. Therefore, television spots promoting the film billed it as a thrillomedy. <laughs> Ooh, giggles. And that is the 13 things you probably didn't know about Disney's thrillomedy, arachnophobia. Oh, boy. <laughs> 